Hey, thank you for tuning in. Um, do me a big favor, and if you're on a computer, click the red subscribe button below this video. If you're on a, a phone or a tablet, just tap it with your finger. And um, yeah, I need, I'd like to get a lot more subscribers because I'd like to go be able to go live during the draft. So the only way I can do that is by you guys helping me. And, you know, I hope that you take that, you know, second or two to do so. So thank you. You guys are the best. And let's get into the video. What is up, NFL fans, Cowboy fans in particular? Um, so, I have a very, um, I don't know if you call it controversial, but I have a take on the Cowboys drafting C.D. Lamb in the first round and how it affects uh, paying Dak Prescott directly. I think uh, this uh, puts the ball directly in the hands of the, of the Joneses. I think that they can now go to Dak Prescott and tell him, look, we are not paying you $35 million a year or 37 or whatever you want. We're going to pay you, you know, 28, uh, 30 tops, you know, because listen to this. Amari Cooper, locked up and loaded. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, locked up and loaded. They addressed the offensive line. They got a center in the draft also. And then C.D. Lamb, locked up and loaded for five years. So... They're going to go to him and say, look, man, we have all these weapons for you. We are not paying you, you know, this exorbitant amount per year. It, it's ridiculous. Why would we? Tom Brady was playing uh, with virtually a bunch of, you know, people that no one knew of for most of his career. Same with Aaron Rodgers. Same with, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. But, I mean, the amount of weapons that the Cowboys have invested around Dak Prescott is almost unprecedented and um i think it plays you know particularly strongly into their into their hand when dealing with these negotiations like look man we're not paying you 35 million you, you know we're just not we got you all these weapons you know why can't you be happy with 30 million and all these weapons and go win a, you know, freaking championship? So I think the, the drafting of CD Lamb in particular now gives them that added, uh, card to play in the negotiations. And I believe that, uh, now this thing 
could get messy. I think, look, I don't think Dak Prescott's a uh, top 10 quarterback. I just don't. I think he's been very fortunate with who, who he's played with, uh, when he's played with them. And I think at best he's a top 15 dude. Uh, yeah, he probably deserves 28, 30 million. That's about the going rate, you know, but to put him in the Russell Wilson, uh, Tom Brady, Rogers, that league, not only that league in terms of his play, but in terms of his deal, his pay. I just, I can't do it. If I, if I was the Joneses, there's no way I, I would do it. I say, look, man, we can go out and trade for, you know, a Matthew Stafford, uh, who's making $27 million a year. And I almost guarantee that he can put up far better numbers than you and make us far better than you could or you know you name the the quarterback Matt Ryan um whoever like that but uh yeah I just think that this is just a really big chip that the Jones family and the Cowboys organization has now to play in their negotiations with uh, Dak Prescott. And I want to hear from you what you think. Am I crazy? Am I right? Am I somewhere in between? Uh, drop your comments down below in the YouTube comment section. Thank you for watching. You're great. Until next time, peace.